People were walking around without umbrellas going, this is just beautiful rain. I ran in the rain. It was amazing. I loved it this morning. And the cooler temperatures. Yeah. The first time I haven't seen the forecast, uh, without 100 degrees across a red blo a box, it was, it was really nice. It's like everyone can breathe this collective sigh of relief and just say, okay, we get it. Summer's almost done. <laughs> Finally, almost. right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, for the record, lucky number three. Today broke a three-week-long dry streak. It also was the coolest temperature, 89, in three months. And also the first time so far this month, and frankly since July, that we've had a high temperature cooler than the average high. Average high is 92, we hit 89. And there you go, rain, 0 0.02 inches earlier. We've tacked on some this evening for a grand total of 15 one hundredths of an inch. And there is more on the way. As we look at your Thursday, I think we'll manage some low 90s. Mix of sunshine and clouds, shower storms at times, a 60% chance of rain. So keep the rain gear handy yet again. I actually made it through showers this morning, this afternoon, and again this evening. Three times in one day. It was pretty glorious. 73 degrees outside right now as we watch and wait for more rain to move in during the overnight. Temperatures area wide in the 70s with the exception of Luling sitting at exactly 80 degrees. I think temps will stay pretty steady through the overnight. So the city of rain pushing east through toward the Highway 77 corridor and a new batch that we'll keep eyes on out west. And right now you can see it's not quite moving out of Mexico, but it'll push across the Rio Grande and we may see it get its act together during the overnight into early morning hours. So still some spotty light showers continuing to push to the east through Bastrop County. These are going to be moving just south of Bastrop. The Clearview area, Highway 304. And then as we look toward Lake Fayette and Ellinger and points to the east, we'll also see some steadier rain for another half hour or so. Rain total is pretty good though, especially out in Mason County, which was briefly under a flood advisory, one to two inches of rain. But you can also see some areas got left out. Look at Lee County, big zero. Look down toward Caldwell and Hayes counties. Many areas were left out. But as we head through the overnight and again tomorrow, we also will have a very low end threat of maybe seeing enough rain to prompt some more flood advisories. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but there could be some heavier downpours. Starting around 3 a.m., you can see radar starts to blossom back up again in the hill country, pushing east toward the highway uh, I-35 corridor by about 4 a.m. to around 6 to 7. So it could be on the beginning of the morning rush, a little rough of a go of it, and then more showers expected to redevelop into the afternoon to evening hours. We'll do the same scenario again on Friday. Saturday, a few showers mainly early should taper in time for a mainly dry UT game. And then Sunday and beyond, we dry things out with temperatures heating up. We'll be right back.